Hi, in this video we'll learn how to solve a multi-step equation with fractions and find the value of the unknown variable. Now in my equation you see you can see that I have two fractions. Now the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of the fractions because these fractions are making my problem more complicated. Now remember that fraction is a division problem, right? 3 divided by 4. So fraction is basically a division problem and remember that we use inverse operation to solve the equation. So the inverse operation of division is multiplication. So now we know that we need to multiply this equation by something. And the question is what do we multiply now? now if I multiply this by 4, well I can eliminate the 4 and if I multiply this by 8, I can, I can just eliminate the 8. But I cannot do that because whatever I do to one side, I have to do the same to the other side. I cannot multiply this side by 4 and then this side by 8. So now I need to think of the smallest number that 4 and 8 can divide into. Or you can think it this way that we can find the least common multiple of 4 and 8. So the least common multiple of 4 and 8 is 8. That means we're going to multiply our equation by 8. So let's do that. So I'm going to put the parentheses here and then multiply the whole equation by 8. That means I have to multiply all the terms by 8. So let's do it. So first of all, let's write this 8 times, and then we're going to put 3 fourth x minus, then we have 6, and then times 8 is equal to, and then we can put x over 8, and then we're going to multiply this by 8, and then plus 4 times 8. That means we multiplied all our terms inside the parentheses by 8. Now let's simplify this. Now there are two ways to simplify this. Um, we can multiply 8 and 3 and then we can divide that by 4 or we can just divide 8 by 4 and then whatever answer we get we can multiply that by 3. So either ways is fine. Both the ways are going to get the same answer. So let's do that. 8 times 3 is going to give me 24 and then 24 divided by 4 is going to give me 6. Or what you can do is 8 divided by 4 is going to give you 2, and then 2 times 3 is going to give you 6. So we're going to put 6x here, minus 6 times 8 is going to give me 48, is equal to, and then 8 and 8 will cancel out each other, so we're left with x here, and then plus 4 times 8 is going to give me 32. Now you can see that I have variable on both sides of the equation. Whenever I have variable on both sides of the equation, I, I like to eliminate the variable term which is smaller. This is smaller than 6x, so I'm going to eliminate this. To eliminate x, I just have to subtract x on both sides, so I'm going to do that. And then 6x minus x is going to give me 5x, and then I have minus 48, I'm going to bring that down. This is equal to x minus x is going to be 0, so this is gone, and we have 32 on the right hand side. I'm going to eliminate 48, so 5x minus 48, right? So what's the opposite uh, inverse operation of subtracting 48? Well, that's going to be adding 48. So I'm going to add 48 on both sides of the equation. And I have 5x here, and then negative 48 and positive 48 is going to be 0. So this is gone, is equal to 32 plus 48 is going to give me 80. So I'm going to write here 80. And then this is 5 times x. And the opposite operation of multiplication is division. So to get rid of 5, we're just going to divide both sides of the equation by 5. And 5 and 5 is going to cancel out each other. I just have x on the left hand side because 5 divided by 5 is 1 and 1 times x is x. And then 80 divided by 5 is going to give me 16. So this is going to be my final answer. That's all in this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new to this channel and want to see more videos on other math topics, be sure to subscribe down below and share it with your friends. See you in next video.